Hi everyone, my name is Francis Chardinio. I'm a research software developer at the Computer Research Institute of Montreal and today I will be presenting uh, this talk about machine learning processing pipeline using CWL and their deployment in the context of research teams and OGC API integration. Today's agenda, uh, I will be talking about uh, the following subject and concept, so CRIMS research team and the context and there's a real integration with Weaver, the solution that we use for OGC API integration. I will follow examples as presented below. Well, first, uh, CRIM is a research institute center that helps organization acquire competitive edge through the adaptation of technological innovation. Because we work with multiple organizations operating over different goals, challenges, and products, our expertise uh, uh, expands over a wide range of domains, such as uh, computer vision and geospatial technologies, speech and natural language understanding, data science, operational research, and many more. This results in CRIM being a company that must rapidly adapt to fast-moving research by producing prototypes of applied technologies, but it must also be transferable to production environments of the partner organizations. The context under which CRIM must operate therefore requires us to employ technologies that match our realities. Uh, first, the multi-domain technologies and the diverse objective between the prototypes that are created for different organizations must provide flexibility, re reusability, and simple solution. Second, the research aspect of prototypes that we develop and the packaging of those technologies must also remain interconnected due to the need for adaptation to production environments. Though uh, they cannot be the associated solution must not limit uh, exploration of new research possibilities. Because of this, uh, it's very important for us that the tools we employ fulfill uh, some very important requirements that uh, SID will provide. Uh, amongst everything that we require, so we'll provide us with the flexibility of packaging methods of core algorithm, whether they run Python scripts, Docker images, or other kind of application, and also over the type of input outputs such as images, textual data, audio for speech, etc. Also, uh, SIDWELL grant us the reusability of developed solution through workflows uh, that helps us uh, chain advanced machine learning and AI algorithm uh, with other common tools which in afterward can provide us with powerful analysis and result insights. Other uh, very important concerns for CRIM are that um, multiple of the services that we must employ are, are have to be used in tandem with already existing solutions uh, with interoperable standards and new technologies be being developed constantly. So new algorithms cannot operate in their own sandbox. They must integrate with a wide range of operational architecture and services such as uh, web processing service, so WPS, OGC APIs, uh, climate data platforms, and other self-contained application with Docker. Uh, furthermore, most of the services that are being developed uh, must often provide some extended metadata related to the prototype application that we develop, such as uh, documentation reference or retrieving execution logs. Since we do not want to dissociate research from production, it is primordial for us to, um, although we extend metadata, to have scripts that run with the same method both for local execution and continuous development in production de deployment. So to reach that goal, our solution was to develop Weaver, which is presented with the uh, provided link uh, to GitHub repository. And I will present this tool for the next following slides. So Weaver uh, allows the deployment of execution processes of various types of, uh, over multiple remote uh, locations using a common web interface. 
it has two modes of operation. First, the ADS or Application Deployment and Execution Service that basically executes an application package defined by CWL at the location where the data resides and can be accessed. And second, the EMS or Execution Management Service that allows the execution of processing workflows by dispatching children's jobs to appropriate ADES instances based on where the data resides and by linking uh, processing results between intermediate jobs. So as shown in the figure here, we can see that one EMS uh, configured weaver can register with many different remote servers that are uh, used to process data at different locations. Weaver also provides uh, other features such as uh, process management uh, by getting their description, different version management, catalog search, etc. Uh, it also provides uh, job monitoring and sequencing for different users and workflows. And finally, it uh, provides some result retrieval from both uh, output result of jobs and error logs in the case of failures. Under the hood, Weaver uses CDRL to execute jobs and automatically maps uh, the execution fields across multiple standards. Below are all the supported uh, standards that uh, so Weaver supports. So this includes uh, WPS uh, interfaces, ESGF uh, CDRL-T API interfaces, other remote ADES that are different from Reaver but that provide the same uh, API interface, built-in applications, Docker images, and large workflows that change many of uh, any of the previous uh, process definitions. So in Weaver, each one of these type of processes are defined with a different CDL requirement. Uh, Weaver also provides different types of input and output mapping, whether the data is located over AWS buckets, HTTP references, or local files from previous uh, jobs. So, as the play the figure, uh, Weaver provides the communication and translation between different API connectors, and then with the custom uh, requirements it provides, it can execute different jobs using the CDL engine. It applies the required uh, interface based on that requirement and then execute the process with the appropriate HTTP request with the remote API or Docker images. Uh, since at its core Weaver uh, uses CDL, the only difference between a processing workflow, let's say standard, and the one registered in Weaver is the definition of what needs to be run in steps. Instead of a, a local file reference, Weaver will use a process identifier in the run step. When executing the workflow, we will we'll simply execute each step and will call each of the corresponding processes uh, with the appropriate requests, whether it is located at the remote ADS, a remote WPS, to run a Docker image, and uh, we'll do all of this based on the requirement definition of each process. Again, uh, each step result will be propagated between each of the steps, so it's possible to really connect any kind of processes uh, between one another, and Weaver will ensure to communicate the result on each situation by transmitting reference, whether they are HTTP uh, links or bucket uh, save location. Weaver provides also a rich open API specification as presented in the following image. This provides a standard method to execute processes and uh, retrieving results using a RESTful interface and allows Weaver to really act only as a, a web interface uh, service. Because Weaver produced process type abstraction with the automatic adaptation to different APIs interface, um, it facilitates the result production uh, since specific details about execution methodology and script comments that would otherwise 
need to be called directly are uh, completely hidden away using SIDREL. All these processes are represented using the same schema uh, at the output of the uh, RESTful API. So it helps uh, comparing between different kind of processes and users that use the API don't have to uh, understand all the finer details under uh, each processes as it becomes completely transparent. Uh, Weaver also offers a centralized search of processes, uh, although they come from different sources and nature, uh, since uh, it can communicate with uh, remote servers of different uh, types, such as WPS or ADES. Finally, uh, since Weaver understands CDRL at its core, uh, running a local application and deploying them for production and environment for remote execution is exactly the same. Uh, the deployment of a local application defined through CDRL is seamless uh, as the deployment request is done with exactly the same definition. This helps uh, development team and research team, uh, in our case, to test functionalities quickly uh, locally and when they are satisfied with the result they can deploy it directly. So for the next slides I will uh, go through four examples that uh, present all CDRL and Weaver were employed to uh, deploy application package we developed. So the first example is uh, Lake River Discrimination. It is a model that was trained to distinguish uh, lakes or uh, rivers. It takes as input an high resolution digital elevation model data and mask of water body locations to produce region proposals of lakes. Using the, the model that was pre trained by CRIM's uh, research team, the package application and it, all its execution environment uh, was defined in a Docker container. Then, using a CDRL Docker requirement, uh, the whole application package was deployed into Weaver with the appropriate HTTP requests. And finally, we obtained a process that can be executed remotely through Weaver's API to produce a new feature proposals over region of detected lakes. So the, the images on the right present such result obtained after calling Weaver's uh, deployed process. Since the whole process is defined with the uh, CDRL that is directly deployed in Weaver, any other iteration of model training were very quickly deployed uh, in Weaver because no other modifications were required for packaging the whole solution. The second example is uh, another model that was trained for land cover mapping tasks over Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. Uh, it takes as input an image with uh, multiple bands, uh, which need to be specified with number of patches and normalization parameters to produce classification results over the seven classes presented on, on this slide. And once it goes through the whole image, each pixel will be classified with one of the seven classes. The whole sampling and classification procedure was again a package with uh, Docker so that the whole environment can be replicated uh, over different locations. That whole uh, process uh, can be shown uh, with the presented input image and the obtained result on the right. So uh, very simply the model takes as input the image, produce the result for each uh, pixel and we obtain a classified image from the model inference. So how does this look for a CDL? Well, basically the Docker application is a reference with the Docker requirement, uh, which contains the whole model definition and environment for execution. And the input parameters can simply be provided with standard CDL execution. That whole CDL de uh, definition is directly sent to the API endpoint where Weaver is located and automatically Weaver understands that CDRL definition and generates the corresponding OGC API process description with 
automatic mapping of all the fields and metadata, metadata and documentation details on how to execute the process, which are the inputs, which are the outputs, and how to retrieve them. My third example is a CWL workflow that changes two WS processes uh, that are pre-deployed. So in this case, uh, the servers are already existing and they already offer some processes and they simply need to be chained one after the other to produce a single process combining the two intermediate results. Uh, in the first case, uh, we have a service that produce a subsetting of a region of interest and the second uh, process produce uh, ice days indices uh, to indicate the number of ice days in a year. So chaining these two processes into a, a common workflow with the custom requirements that are defined by Weaver uh, we obtain first the region of interest and that region of interest gets processed for ice days. Weaver will execute the whole workflow by sending the WPS request to each of the uh, providers through HTTP requests and uh, will obtain the result of the, the first output of the first uh, step and chain it directly to the second process to uh, do the ice days processing. So when running the, the workflow through uh, Weaver, each of the steps are directly processed uh, based on the CWL requirements and Weaver manages the transmission of intermediate results depending on where the processes are actually running. So as I just mentioned, the first step is the region subsetting. It extracts uh, data from the input netcdf and produces the netcdf only for the uh, subsetted region. So this process is really highly reusable. We can use it for any indices. But when we combine it with the second step, uh, which computes the ISAs, we can obtain patch-based uh, processing of the, uh, a given region. This is very important in our case because most of the time the large amount of data cannot be processed in one time for the massive regions that need to be uh, uh, processed. So using Weaver's API, uh, using both the uh, individual processes and the full workflow are exactly the same. So uh, this makes it uh, very easy for users that need to compute ice days for some region as they do not require anymore to change the processes manually. Finally, the fourth workflow uh, is a point cloud uh, classification. The pre-trained model uh, that forms the first application predicts classes from input point cloud and uh, simply produce classified point cloud. The second application takes in the, the classify point cloud and rasterize the uh, result into an image. The third process package these two previous processes into a workflow that can be executed directly and the whole pipeline is then parallelized with a fourth workflow uh, using standard CWL requirements. So here I present a very short uh, example of one of the graded results we can obtain from this whole pipeline and some enlarged results uh, to ease uh, viewing this model in finer detail. So for conclusion, uh, CWL is a great tool that helps Scrim uh, to easily scale many of its processing chains and real use case. It provides simple definition which allows us to maintain focus on core algorithm and prototypes develop. Um, in conjunction with Weaver, CWL allow CRIM to rapidly deploy remotely executable web services for many different kind of application domains. And uh, using both of them in combination, we are able to also obtain added value over existing and future algorithm as these packaging time uh, are greatly reduced uh, for server deployment. The visibility of the and the powerful processing capabilities are also increased thanks to Weaver's API. 
So thank you for uh, your attention and do not hesitate to reach us for any question regarding Weaver or partnership opportunities with Prem. Have a good day.